Hey guys, it's our Miranda Burke with Dear Dine Eddie Mae Theater Productions. Um, my plan was to actually head to bed, um, but I knew I needed to make this video before I actually fell asleep. Um, I'm just breathing hard, just trying to process my feelings. Um, my emotions, just everything. Um, and a lot of people know that March is a very tough month. Um, in reality, it's the month that I lost my father. It's also his birthday month. Um, but in that process, one of the things that I have been fighting against, and this is just transparently speaking, and I actually was going back and forth if I was even going to share um, anything. And again, of course, this is not for any, this is not to exploit or put anybody down or anything like that. But um, in order for me to be free, in order for me to move forward with my life, and to receive the healing um, because at the end of the day, Dear Donnie May is a ministry first. It's always going to be a ministry. Um, I want to be transparent about this particular thing for this dinner and this particular reason why we, we decided to do a wedding theme. Um, and not necessarily giving the story away. Um, so you won't necessarily hear the story in this conversation. Um, and you guys know, typically when I do my videos, you guys know I like to have like my face bead and all those cool, crazy, you know, those things and make it look like I'm presenting something. But tonight I wanted to be as very real as possible. Um, like I said, this is right before I'm getting ready to go to sleep. Um, but one of the reasons why we decided to do a wedding theme for this particular murder mystery dinner was this is me sharing a piece of my life. This is me sharing a piece of my world of a what if scenario. Um, and again, not going to get too deep. But one of the things that why I'm sharing this is because I'm walking this journey, especially wanting to be whole, not just mentally, um, not just spiritually, but physically, emotionally, just all aspects of my life, mainly physically. Um, and you guys know I started on a weight loss journey um, last year. And one of those reasons why I started on a weight loss journey was to become a better, better version of myself um, and to be healthy. But essentially... Tying into this dinner and as I've been walking this weight loss journey and going through therapy and just talking to different people, one of the roots for me has always been, God, why have I not met the one? Why have I not met him? And um, it had been as transparently, it's been a struggle. Um, but honestly speaking, one of the reasons why we opted to go in this direction for the murder mystery dinner is so I can share my journey, what it's like to overcome rejection. Um, this has been probably one of the most authentic journeys. Um, and I didn't realize it. And just as I've been navigating doing this murder mystery dinner and preparing us with rehearsals and just getting things in order where I'm thinking it's help, it's focusing on another person was actually happening behind the scenes. And my cast doesn't even know this. So there, you know, I've been pretty much withdrawn from my cast and crew the last few days, but God just showed me like, we're peeling the layers off of you, somebody that's fighting this fight of overcoming rejected um, time and time again. And I always pray and I always ask God to lead me as 
I pour into Dear Dot Nanny Mae and as, you know, using us as a vessel. Um, I had no clue that in this journey, that preparing for this dinner, this will ultimately be me dealing with the root of why things did not go a certain area in my life. And a lot of it is the overcoming the rejection. Why did I feel rejected and whatnot? And when I say this has been the most beautiful journey. Um, but it's also been a very heavy journey. Um, when you pray and you ask God for to be used fully, you have to be prepared what comes on the other side of it. And honestly, I had no clue that the other side of this, as again, as I was preparing my cast and my crew and just everything leading up to what's going on with this murder mystery dinner, I had no clue that it was going to be me actually going through a healing process. And like I said, my cast doesn't even know. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I've been kind of withdrawn. And like I said, part of it, you know, another part is March being a hard month with losing my father in this month. Um, but when the time is right, how my father's death and a rejection piece, they collide. And I didn't realize it until now, <laughs> until now, as I've been intimately just processing these emotions and whatnot. But one of the things, again, why we I wanted to do this video was to just encourage singles, um, those who question God, why, you know, why am I still single? Why am I still, why am I being rejected by this person over and over and over? Or why did this door close? Or why? Just know that, and it might sound cliche when I say it, but God's rejection is also, I might be saying it wrong, but rejection is God's protection. A lot of times when we get rejected by things, God is protecting us in the end, essentially. So, um, as I'm navigating this process of healing and coping and overcoming rejection, I encourage you to walk that journey out because rejection is one of the hardest, hardest things to overcome. Um, it has been a process. Um, like I said, this for us, this murder mystery dinner has truly, truly prepping for it, has truly been ministry. So, um, but I just wanted to get on here tonight, just share my heart. Um, again, just is just wanted to jump on and just share. So I love you guys. <sighs> just continue to keep me in prayer. Have a great one.